My name is Devontae Johnson. Uh, I'm from Patterson, New Jersey, and I compete out of Unity Jiu-Jitsu. I came from Patterson, New Jersey. started training Jiu-Jitsu when I was 17, and I moved over to Unity Jiu-Jitsu in New York um, about three years into training. I've been training there ever since, so it's been almost five years now, and now I have my own academy in New Jersey. Uh, Unity Jiu Jitsu New Jersey in Clifton, so I've been training in New York and New Jersey. I have actually never competed for, for Polaris, but I've been wanting to compete for Polaris since I was about a purple belt. And I remember I used to watch Polaris since then, I believe, and I've been waiting for an opportunity to compete on Polaris, so I jumped at the opportunity just now when it came in my way. For me personally, fighting on Polaris is kind of like, oh, you know, like I'm starting to check off a few of the I guess you can say kind of like career milestones. So slowly but surely, I've been able to check those those competitions off the list. And Polaris is another opportunity for me to like achieve a little career milestone, a career dream, if you will. And hopefully, you know, I'm gonna come out there and fight well and get my first dub on the Polaris. If you're not rolling, then you need to sit out. If you're not rolling, sit on the yellow and watch. So my training leading up to this match has been. Uh, it's been pretty fun because I've been getting to train a lot with my students now because uh, we're beginning ready for uh, the New York Pro, some of them, and Nogi Worlds. So we've been working a lot of Nogi the last, I want to say, four months since Worlds. I think when I first started competing at Black Belt, there was a, like a little bit of an adjustment phase. So I've been kind of like really feeling like I've been starting to mature lately. So, you know, I'm just ready to go out there and fight now. Last round. To be completely honest, I've never heard of Aria, and I don't say that to be disrespectful. So yeah, I don't really know what to expect, and I don't really think too hard about like the strat, like the strategy for, you know, the particular competitor that I'm gonna face. I kind of feel like jujitsu is jujitsu, and as long as I focus on, you know, putting myself myself in good positions to be successful to execute my game then it doesn't really matter what the other person is really good at or per se uh, because I think it starts with me first so I'm not too worried so my name is Arias Fanmas we're here in my gym in North Acton London um, I'll be fighting in Polaris on the 30th of November against Devontae Johnson. No gi match. I, I train both gi and no gi. I prefer gi a lot because I spend more time on it, but actually no one wants to fight gi. <laughs> I always ask, get me a gi match, get me a gi match, get me something tough, but everyone's fighting no gi. But I'm lucky enough because uh, we have a lot of good no gi grapplers and we always like uh, train around a lot of heel hookers, a lot of guys on the card actually as well. So I'm getting a lot more better with my no gi, but I still prefer gi. Give me a gi match, guys, please. People sometimes associate heavyweights with being slow and man, I move like a lightweight. I grew up doing a lightweight game. I do like jump a lot, fly a lot, you know? There's a lot of heavy guys, all my guys that train under me, they move really fast, they move light because like one of my first instructors said, you know, if you want to learn jiu-jitsu, learn from someone, a small guy, you know? So now that I have that light style, but also can manipulate with the, the pressure style, yeah. Give us a belt, guys. I, I used to do a lot of flashy moves and stuff, but training with Hodger and, you know, my Alagato, those guys, old school. Like, I remember my professor was saying, well, Ari, when you want to pass, you want to be like a wet blanket, like psh, you put the guy. So that pressure style I developed, it's, I really like it, you know, and I'm just now starting to learn to implement it in the no-gi because of the lack of grips. But yeah, that's my style, man. So it's going to be really interesting. No, I, I don't know much about him. I've seen some of his, uh, I know he's up and coming, he's doing really well. He trains under Murillo Santana, so he's got that old school pressure style. So yeah, it's gonna be a good match. I know he's gonna bring it, and I'm gonna bring it too. And I always look for the submission. So I was supposed to fight Satoshi Ishii in the last card. Uh, he had a knee injury. 
And um, I want Ishi, you know, because it just feels like it's an unfinished business. You know, we had the whole thing. I prepared myself for him and stuff. So I really want Ishi. But ideally, I want to fight Gi, man. I want to fight a really high-level guy if I fight Gi. Predominantly, most of the tournaments I compete in. Actually, it's been a while since, you know, I did no Gi. But, um, yeah, I want a Gi match with someone really high-level. I want that to be a belt for Gi as well, and that would be pretty cool, you know. And if not, man, I'm, I'm start training no Gi. I'm not going to stop now. We have this weekly thing with the... Tough guys going around, so yeah. Go, go, go ahead. It's gonna be a fight. I'm gonna bring submission, you know? Someone's getting submitted. It's not me. Uh, so, my name is Vanessa English. Uh, I train here in Greater Bar in Nottingham. I'm competing in Polaris 12 against Michelle Nicolini. Um, yeah, I've been training here today with my uh, professor, Victor Stima, um, who took the class. Yeah, I've been training with uh, some smaller guys, which is really nice. So uh, my match against Michelle is no gi. Uh, I do predominantly train in the gi, but you know I always switch it up uh, with season to, to season. So um, you know, although I, I think really both both of our games uh, predominantly in the gi. Uh, Michelle's been looking at a lot of no gi stuff, I guess, with her MMA training and stuff. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to to be up against her. Push up the knee with a little bit more pressure on the side of the leg here, guys. I think they're somewhat similar. Um, you know, I've obviously you uh, watch and study uh, your opponent's game, and there's a lot of things where I think, hey, I do that too. <laughs> so that's interesting. So um, I think it's, it's I think it's going to be an interesting battle. Yeah. As much as possible, use submission attempts to get back to safe positions. Uh, you can attack any submission, you guys can attack any submission. So I, I think, uh, you know, Michelle is all go. She um, will definitely, you know, bring some fire to the match, but I think as will I. So uh, certainly in the no-gi, I think it's going to be um, a really fun, fun uh, match to watch. At least I'll try to make it one. So. <laughs> I don't know. I think obviously she's an eight times world champion, ADCC champion. It's going to be tough. I'm aware it's going to be very tough, but you know, I'm going to give it my all. So. <laughs> Thank you.